Parsh Chuka starts with the Parsh of Paraduma Lamaisa. We know that in Parsh B'Shalach, the Torah says over there right after Kriyas Yamsuf, they were in Mora, Som, Shom, Loi, Choyk, Vashom, Diso. There were certain mitzvahs that were given at that point. It was way before Matan Torah. It was right after Kriyas Yamsuf. And Rashi says one of the mitzvahs that were given, Choyk, is Paraduma. So why are we waiting until the end, till almost the end of the Torah, Parsh Chukas? It's almost the end of the story of the journey of the Midbar. It's at the end of the 40, 40 years. And now we hear about all the deals of Paraduma. Why over here is the Pasha Paraduma? We were given that mitzvah. We know about that mitzvah already so long ago. If you look in Pasha's Lech Lecha, Avraham Avinu is told by God, Baruch Lech Lecha, it's a, it's a Nisayan, it's a very difficult Nisayan, it's one of the Nisayan, one of the ten Nisayan is that Avraham Avinu was tested by, go from your land and go somewhere, it doesn't even say which land. And Avraham Avinu comes to the land and Hashem says, oh, very good, you came to the right place. This land is going to be yours and it's going to be your children. Furthermore, when Hashem promises, Hashem tells him to do the bris milah, it says, I want you to go in front of me and I want you to be tamim. Tamim in, in today's uh, Ivrit, we, we, we uh, sometimes translate tamim to be naive. It doesn't mean to be naive. Be, I want you to trust me. I want you to go in front of me with trust. And then he says, and then he tells him the mitzvah of do the bris milah, and right after it says, in the schus of this mitzvah, you're going to get Eretz Yisrael. You're going to get this land for you and for your children, for your, for your descendants. We see from here, says the Hail Gashem Shmuel, that Eretz Yisrael, we don't get just, just like that. We get Eretz Yisrael when we trust Hashem without any questions. When Avraham Avinu picked himself up and moved to Eretz Yisrael without asking any questions, that's when he was like at Eretz Yisrael. When Hashem promised it to him again a few times, every time, it's because they trust. When Avraham trusted Hashem, that's when Hashem repeated the bracha and the, and the, and the promise that, that his children will also get Eretz Yisrael. Also get Eretz Yisrael. There was one slight time, Avraham said too many, 400, there was already a, uh, uh, an Einish right away that Klai Yisrael had to wait another 400 years to get Eretz Yisrael. When we trust in Hashem and we believe in Hashem, that's when we get Eretz Yisrael. The mitzvah of Paraduma, as we know, is a chayk, shleim amel, saramart, yachem, avir, chayk, men. It's the only mitzvah that he didn't understand the reasons behind it. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells us, you must do this mitzvah. Why? Because I said so. Because it's a mitzvah. Even though every mitzvah we have to do because Hashem said so. And every mitzvah, some mitzvahs are more logical, less logical. There's a little bit of logic. There's more logic. Paraduma has no logic. It's a chayk. It's the epitome of the chayk. And the epitome of the chayk, says the Shem Shmuel, had to be taught to us right before we went into Eretz Yisrael to once again to reiterate and to strengthen in us, within us the resolve that we keep the Torah and we do the mitzvahs because Hashem said so. When we trust in Hashem fully, we trust in Hashem completely, that's when we have the schus of being able to, 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 to receive Eretz Yisrael as the Matonu. Even though we live in a time, in a generation where Baruch Hashem, for almost 100 years, we live in Eretz Yisrael and Torah is flourishing and Jewish life is flourishing in Eretz Yisrael, we must never be mistaken and never fall into the trap of thinking that there's a logical reason why we got our to Israel. The reason why we got our to Israel is because we trust in Hashem. And if we trust in Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch will let us live in our to Israel. If we lose Chas Vashom, this trust, we start thinking of logical reasons why we live in our to Israel, then that's, that's, not, that's, that's not the way we can acquire the land of Eretz Yisrael, but we be zechet to live in Eretz Yisrael, and and all the Yidim Gals should come back to Eretz Yisrael in Meheira with Mashiach Tzadkeinu in the Schus of Aramuna and Bitochen and Hakadosh Baruch Hu and in His Mitzvahs Chayk B'Shom Nisau. Good chance.